Welcome to Fabas. It's a lovely little um, school bus coming by. It's a lovely little um, air that we discovered on park for night. Um, somewhere in the west of Toulouse. I thought I'd just come and do this now because uh, it's such a peaceful place. Um, and it did purport to have fantastic views of the Pyrenees. It rained all yesterday evening, so we didn't get a view of them. But we've got somewhat of a view of them this morning. Not a brilliant view. It's beginning to rain again. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But there's the Pyrenees all the way across there. And I think it, it's quite cold here this morning. It's seven. Um, so I guess they got quite a lot of snow last night. Um, late winter, early spring. Well, spring snow, I guess. Uh, not condition-wise, but... Um, that it's fallen now. So yeah, um, lovely place. It, it, it doesn't seem to be anybody here. We've seen nobody. Um, there's a shower and a toilet as well. Um, all free of charge. It's brilliant. It's just amazing. So thank you very much to the residents of um, Tabas. Um, we had a very peaceful night. And we're going to head now down to, to our campsite for the next seven days, which is Lord's. I can strongly recommend this as a park up. Good morning all, and welcome to Lords. Lords. <laughs> um, yeah, we've we've um, we decided we'd move on um, and camp for what seven nights at this site at Lords, which we booked on the motorhome and caravan and motorhome club. Um, it's a lovely site. It's just maybe just not what we thought it was. Um, access well, to cycleways and stuff isn't quite what we thought it was going to be. Um, and it does seem quite a restrictive a area for dogs, doesn't it? Yes. Um, so we're just contemplating whether we stay here for seven days or not. But anyway, we're going to wander into Lords, have a look round, and then possibly um, climb up one of the hills to have a look at the Pyrenees. Um, we've just um, endured, what, two days of rain? I know, it's been very heavy in yeah. places, so that's really good for the um, countryside. Yeah, a bit restrictive for us, but anyway, we woke up this morning to beautiful sunshine, a bit chilly, but beautiful, um, so we're going to do a bit of exploring and see how we get on. Um, we're not actually in Lords, we have to walk, what, about a mile to get there? Yes. So, um, um, go on. And as we've got the dog, we're not allowed into the <laughs> sanctuary area, <laughs> so we have to walk along... The, road. the boundary of it and the road and we're not allowed in to, to the whole thing really we can just video from the edge <laughs> well I, to be fair it's not my thing anyway um, it seems like this place has reinvented itself following the apparition um, which I, don't, I can't remember when it occurred but it was in the I don't know when it was about 100 years ago or so um, uh, that's me with just guessing by the way I have no idea um, you're and good it's at just kind of guessing, reinvented it, yeah, it's reinvented itself as a pilgrimage site. So we're going to go and have a look round. Kerry's already been around yesterday, so there's quite a lot of souvenir stuff to buy, so uh, um, I'm reserving judgment. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. This is um, well, Kerry's, it's the Lord Sanctuaire. So I don't know whether this is where the supposed apparition took place or not but it seems to be where most of the pilgrims seem to be congregating I apologise uh, not knowing um, I'm not religious so um, why would I but obviously it's very important to those that do believe uh, certainly in the Roman Catholic faith um, so yes it's Sunday and it's not overly busy but um, you do get a feel that the, the, the town itself is, is very much focused around tourism um, oh, there's Kerry she can't come in because dogs aren't allowed in here um, but the shops we've passed so far are full of like tourist Christian stuff um, and I don't want to be disrespectful but um, you know it, it, it is that kind of stuff that you buy and you wonder why you bought it um, anyway um, onwards we've got a hill to climb so we're in the was it the centre? Anyway, it's a bit of a contrast really, it's quite weird because um, Kerry pointed these out she came round boards yesterday in the rain and we've come around again today. We've got these, I'll just pan Magnificent around. buildings, yeah. I'll pan, I love them. I'll pan around. 
They're like that, something from London, aren't they? Stunning buildings. They are. Um, but it's a bit like the bottom bit's a bit like Skegness. If any of you've ever been to Skegness, it's um, yeah, you've got people wandering around in I Love Jesus hats. It's quite a cultural shock, isn't it? From um, everything else we've seen so far. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's very much a tourist honeypot. Anyway, let's let's um, let's carry on. I've just spotted over the road some large um, Virgin Mary statues. Um, yeah, okay, I've said enough. So this is, yeah, this is the contrast I'm talking about. Um, this is a souvenir shop with all your Lord's souvenirs, um, from Christian stuff to just random glass, really. Um, unusual postcards. Um, then um, figurines of some description, and more Christian stuff, and then more, even more figurines um, for you to purchase but then you span, uh, spin round and look at this wonderful building here look it's amazing is it Art Nouveau is it you think um, it's lovely really lovely so imagine well it is a hotel isn't it yeah hotel modern um, it's a stunner it really is so we're about, what, I would say two thirds, three quarters of the way up. And that's a view looking back towards Lords. And over there towards, what was that called, Kerry, was that? Tarbs, was it? Something like that. Um, so we're right at the base of where the Pyrenees start. Um, there's a, so many different mountain bike routes down here, it's unbelievable. Uh, lots of young lads having great fun. Um, and, yeah. And ladies. Oh, there were some, yeah, yeah. Mostly lads, though, weren't they? Um, so we're going to get up to the top um, and probably enjoy the views there, which should show looking south to the Pyrenees as well. Well, we've made it to the top, and this is the view you get looking north. And then obviously when you pan around and unfortunately this concrete monolith's in the way looking south so I'll probably go up there and take a shot when these guys have finished um, yeah but not not too bad was it spiffing spiffing <laughs> Good morning from, well, what can I be said is a stunning location. Um, we're, at, uh, we're in La Voie Verte de Garve. Um, it's the valley runs up from Lourdes up to the base of the Pyrenees. Um, wonderful cycleway uh, on a disused railway. Um, 18 kilometres, somewhere about that. Um, all flats, lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it makes you sometimes think, you know, you come out here, I mean, there's, there's climbs here like the Tourmalet and the, the Otakam, um, and I know they're amazing things, but sometimes it's great just to cycle on flat roads and just look around you. Um, this is the uh, information board, which nicely has it in English, French and Spanish, I think. Um, and then you've got very kindly got a, an area here, which is uh, with all your tools and your pump is very good. Um, we're at Sulom um, and there's also a bicycle map over here with different colours for different courses um, from Lords um, and up here as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to come back um, to do some of the big climbs I think um, but today is, is just a day for enjoying. Um, I'm going to pop into the town um, here have a look round um, and if it's any good I'll share it with you and then I might do some footage on the way back so you get a feeling of, of some of the mountains. It's not 
you don't get the great feel of them here because we're, we're kind of enclosed a little bit and they're hidden behind these. Um, we're back towards um, Lords. Yeah, you get some good views, so I'll hopefully share those with you.